Oh, now that's a strange looking tower. That group of high rises seems to be floating on the ocean. This is Seattle, a seaport city on the west coast of the United States. Ah, it's starting to come into view. I wonder what kind of city it is. The bus has arrived. Time to explore the city. Everyone seems to be on their way to work. Hmm, I think I'll go this way. Oh, this is a sharp incline. And everyone's walking so fast. Full of energy in the morning, I guess. Seattle is a city surrounded by the ocean and lakes. Native Americans lived here for thousands of years before the first permanent European settlers arrived to enjoy the environment plentiful in water and greenery. Famous for its coffee culture, Seattle is regarded as a world center for coffee roasting and coffee supply chain management. With hundreds of software companies in the area, it's also a contender in the tech market. Hmm, oh, that building looks interesting. Look. Market is written on it. This is Pike Place Market, a tourist attraction for over 10 million visitors a year. It has been open since 1907, making it one of the oldest markets in the US. That's remarkable. Huh? What's going on over there? Well, a crowd has gathered, and some of them are even taking photos. This is... There's a fish on the sign. It must be a fish store. Oh, they're throwing something. I guess this is what everyone was photographing. Huh? That's Japanese for dangerous. Good morning. Um, are there any fish you recommend? Uh, this one? Wow, that's a beauty. How much is it? Huh? What? Um, how much? Is... Wait, he threw it. Huh? Wow, nice catch. But why do you throw the fish to each other? Uh, it's easier than walking around. Huh? So, like, you want this fish? Okay, I'll be right back. I walk all the way around and come back. Oh, it's $20, you know, and go cut it and come, you know. Oh, so you're fun. checking the price. It's more fun. Uh, I guess so. Yeah. It's entertaining. Thank you. No, thank you. You were very entertaining. <laughs> thank you. A fish store where fish fly. That was a first for me. Only in Seattle where the ocean is close by. I've left the market and now I'm in the center of the city. It's a city with a lot of trees. Ah, oh, a totem pole. That's right. I've heard that there were a lot of Native American villages in the Seattle area. It seems that the city was named after Chief Seattle, a Native American tribal leader who lived here. Even though we're in the middle of a city, there is so much greenery. It's fabulous. In this area, there seems to be a lot of shops. Is this a gallery? And over here? Wow, now that is really colourful. I think I'll go in and take a look. 
Wow, this is gorgeous. Are those plates? These look like flower vases. So many lighting fixtures too. They're all so colorful with such interesting shapes. I wonder if these are all made of glass. Ah, something is going on inside. I wonder if, oh, hello. Um, this is a glass blowing studio, right? I thought so. How great to have the studio right in the middle of the shop. Fantastic. It's so bright. Now that really looks hot. So you can see when it comes out of the furnace, it's got a honey-like consistency. Yes. It's uh, around 2150 Fahrenheit. It's uh, 1170 Celsius. What? Over 1,000? That's just really bright. It sure is. Is that the shape you want? Okay, blow. Huh? So you'll notice Alec is starting to blow into the pipe. You'll see this piece starting to inflate. Wow, you're right. Excellent teamwork. Perfectly in sync. I've been at it for a while. I see. Are you both from Seattle? So why Seattle? Glass. What do you mean? Yeah, if you want to be a glass blower in the US, you come to Seattle. Wow, I didn't know that Seattle's a glass making town. Yeah, it's definitely one of the world capitals. Let me know if you want to So this is where you come to make a name for yourself as a glass maker. Oh, looks like it's done. Those thick gloves and that mask. It must be so hot. Nice work. Whoa, is that a cup? It's huge. Just stay hydrated. Yeah, you, gotta, you, you can't drink out of a paper cup if you're a glass blower. You really enjoy being a glass maker, it seems. I'd like to be recognized for what I do. You know, I work really hard at it. It would be nice to, to know that people appreciate what you do. Thank you. I wish you both the best of luck. They work hard at what they do so that they will be recognized for their great work. I did not realize that Seattle is a place where glass blowers come to follow their dream. Seattle seems to be the kind of town that attracts people who face their challenges to find their futures. There are so many trees in this area. It seems as if this street is in the middle of a park. Hey, it turns out that it really is a park. The green is so vibrant. Huh? What's going on here? Kids are hanging from the trees. And some of them are really up high, kind of like bagworms. They're using a lot of rope. Oh, he's going up. I don't quite understand, but it seems that they are climbing with only the rope and their hands and feet. Are you okay? Yeah, it's really tall. And tough, too. My hands hurt already. Oh, no. Good luck. Whoa, this guy's amazing. He's really fast. Maybe he's the instructor. Wow, he was so fast. He climbed up there in no time. And even the boy who was just on the ground is doing well. How do you feel? 
Huh? You're not scared? But really, what in the world? So this is recreational tree climbing. We uh, have been running this company for six years now in Seattle. I see. And so there's no better way to make people feel attached and connected to trees and to their parks than by putting them literally in touch with them. You know that when these kids come back to this park, any time from now on, they're gonna turn to their friends and say, oh, I was all the way up there, I was up in that tree. So now they have a personal connection and that's what helps people care about things, I think. Absolutely, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Thanks. You're very welcome, thanks for stopping by. Take care. Thank you. Encouraging children to bond with nature inspires them to understand its significance and importance to our lives. This will enable a deep love of nature to develop and become a part of who they are. Well, back to the centre of the city. The sun seems to be going down. I hear some get down and dance music. Where's it coming from? Ah, from over there. Is it a concert? Ah, they're dancing! Isn't it great? People of all ages coming together and just having a good time. Lovely. <laughs> Everyone seems to be having a good time. <laughs> that little girl is really getting it on. <laughs> having fun with her mum. Look like you are having fun. I do like dancing. Sometimes uh, my mommy said I'm gonna get you a Zumba dance because of that. Zumba dance? Like you jump like for an hour. Sounds very dynamic and challenging. Yeah. Excuse me, do you also like to dance? Yes, we are from Iran. Uh, it's well, but I do. <laughs> <laughs> are you visiting? Uh, no, we, uh... we are refugees. We are refugees. We lived uh, three and a half years in Turkey, and the United uh, Nations, UN, chose USA for us. Do you like Seattle? I love Seattle. Oh, you love Seattle. Thank you. Goodbye. From Iran to Seattle. So this town has become this family's new beginning. I hope they find the happiness they deserve here. Seattle is so vibrantly green, and the free spirit of this town serves to attract so many creative people. What a wonderful city it is.